All right, so now we have that squared away for the most part. We can introduce the mounting bracket, and it looks like I kind of hot glued a little too much in some areas. So we're just going to give it a nice little melt to even things out. Once that's all evened out, well, we can double check to make sure that this piece will fit nice and snug and flat. So line all the way to the top here and fits perfectly right in between. Once we have that, what I like to do is kind of give it a little hot glue underneath to kind of give it a little extra stick because the 1000C does kind of get in the way just a little bit and creates a little bit of heat uh, and causes a little bit uh, for these posts to kind of come undone. So. We'll just kind of wrap that around. Give it a nice bead across. Always make sure that you have sufficient hot glue. We will reload here. And there we are. So now we have top bracket going across. And looking mighty good. So now it will marry up with this piece so we'll have our nice little screw posts here and here um, haven't quite decided if I'm gonna put the triggers inside here or if I'm going to put them on the side uh, I've, si I've seen a couple people do the build with them on the side and I think it's the slickest thing ever um, I just haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead and do that yet or not. Um, it might get in the way with the Raspberry Pi uh, sitting in between here. But if I can get it to squeeze inside here, I think I might be okay. So out of Wormy's uh, instructions, he has you grind these guys down and put the triggers inside to give you L and R but it does not give you L1 and L2 and R1 and R2. Um, kind of for, for this build, since I'm having a joystick in it, um, it, will, um, it will be super handy to have the two on the side um, on there. So, but 